What's going on guys, Dan Watson, Learning Cameras, and I've got the Canon 300mm f2.8 and the 400mm f2.8 with the Sony A9. We're gonna do some autofocus tests with these cameras and lenses to see if these can deliver on some awesome autofocus performance. If you've got the Sony A9, you really know that there's nothing over 200 millimeters to use with this camera, except the 100, 400 coming out soon, but it's an f5.6, so nothing as far as wide aperture lenses. So adapters are gonna be the way to go. So I really wanted to test this camera out with these lenses, and I've got the Sigma and the Metabones adapter right here, and we're gonna see what kind of performance this looks like. So stay tuned to the end. We're gonna get some impressions. I'm gonna show you some of the images from this. If you're not following me on Facebook and Instagram, I post a lot of this stuff there as well, so check that out. Links in the description below for all of this stuff as well. I'm here at the Lens Depot. That's where I'm renting these things from, and I mean, they've got some awesome selection, lenses, cameras, drones, uh, tons of stabilizer equipment as well. So if you need a place to look for some rentals, check them out, description in the link below. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put these things to the test and really see if the Sony A9 can work with these lenses and give some awesome autofocus performance for those of you sports photographers or wildlife photographers looking for something a bit longer than 200 millimeters. So check out the results below and let's take a look at what this thing can do. So the first thing you should keep in mind is that actually you only have three focus modes that are gonna work with this, the wide, the center, and then a single point flexible spot. Those are really the only tools you're gonna have available when using these adapters. The first test was single point, but I placed it kind of on the edge of the screen, somewhere that normally would work on the A9, but with the adapters, it's not gonna work. So definitely only your center most points are gonna be working when you try to use focusing. Now, once I did switch it to a little bit more center, everything was actually really quick. This is the 400 millimeter f2.8, and it was spot on. No issues at all. It's not quite as fast as a native lens, but it was very, very quick. Had no issues at all. Locked on focus every time. And even when you're viewing this thing at 100%, it just looks dead on. Next was a tracking test with the 400 millimeter and overall it was not working on me and I couldn't figure out what was going on. It was set to a medium speed and so that ended up being the issue but I tried it a couple times, uh, changed all of my areas. I couldn't change anything to make this thing work and then I realized that there was something in the manual about using autofocus system with other lenses. 20 frames per second is actually only available with certain lenses, and most of them are actually gonna be limited to about 15 frames per second. But something you're gonna notice is even if you look at the uh, LA EA1 adapter for Sony A mount lenses, it actually says on their support page that in continuous mode, high or continuous shooting mid mode, when the focus is set to AFC, the focus will not track the subject during continuous shooting. And this is what I noticed with this, and I think this is gonna be the biggest surprise for most of us here, is that you actually cannot shoot in medium and high with continuous focus enabled. So that means for those of you looking at tracking subjects moving towards you, you're actually gonna be limited to the low speed, which I believe is around five frames per second. Now, when I did switch to that mode, it was working perfectly, had no trouble focusing, keeping track as she ran towards me, Overall, that seemed to be excellent, but just really keep that in mind that you're gonna be limited to those five frames per second. Switching to the 300 millimeter, it basically did the same thing where it just refused to keep track and focus of her when I was using the medium mode. But I switched that into low, and sure enough, it seemed to lock on just fine, had no issues doing it at all. Heading back into single autofocus mode, it seemed to work extremely well as long as my point was large enough and towards the center of the frame. It had no issues at all going back and forth between the objects and doing it very quickly and very accurately. If you check out this tracking test, you can see exactly the point where I began to lose her. And it was as I moved that camera just off of center, you can see that those points no longer followed her. And so this is something you would never see with native lenses, but when using these adapters, you're gonna be limited uh, as to how far out from your center of the frame. Now, if you saw that a car passed behind her and it had no issues keeping track of her, even with the car moving behind her. So that part is working really well. Now, if you head into video mode, it theoretically says it's working, but it was not focusing at all. I really could not get this thing to lock on to focus. It, it looked like it was, it was giving me green lights, but no matter what, it would not find the subject and lock on like it would in photo mode. Here's a tracking test again with a 400 millimeter lens, and you can see that overall, it seems to be very good about picking up the different objects and switching. That one little hesitation on there, but it quickly cleared up. And overall, it seemed to be very, very good about moving back and forth between objects. Throwing on the Sigma adapter really wasn't a big change. It seemed to go about the same, and if it was in medium or high mode, it would not do anything. 
And so both adapters seem to work the same way, but if you put it into that low speed continuous mode, then it will work perfectly. So overall, I mean, the Sony A9 is an unbelievable camera, but it really is limited by lens selection when you go over 200 millimeters. And I really think that the functionality of these lenses is gonna be critical to getting this in the hand of sports and wildlife and other photographers that need that capability to go longer than 200 millimeters, especially with wide aperture primes like this. Overall, if you need to track that five frames per second that you're limited to is gonna be the biggest caveat with going with these. I really think that might be a hindrance to most of you out there from using these non-native lenses on the Sony system. Now, if you don't mind basically not tracking your focus, you can take pictures a little bit faster, but that's gonna be the limiting factor for that. If you're looking for single point or you can maintain that five frames per second and that's gonna be fine for you, then I really think that this was good enough for me to actually use in the field. It did have some little hesitations here and there, and it wasn't nearly as good as the Sony native lenses, but if you needed to get by and you're, you're overall okay with that, then I think this is gonna be a, an okay lens for you and an okay choice for you to get that wide aperture primes at your longer focal length. If you haven't checked out the Sony A9 review, definitely check that out as well. We have a bunch of hands-on shooting with it, and overall, just a bunch of fun with the A9. So stay tuned for some more videos, subscribe, like, appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.